Hi everyone, my name is Ying and I'm Ivy. Welcome back to the Financial Fitness Channel. In this video, we want to talk about prenatal insurance. Over the years, the insurance industry has been improving the variety of financial protection. And there is now an insurance coverage for babies even during pregnancy, which means you can now start your child's protection even before your baby is born. This prenatal insurance is a benefit that is added to your child's insurance policy to cover pregnancy complications and for your unborn baby before birth and all the way up till adulthood. In most child's policy, the benefit that can be included are usually critical illness, disability, death, medical, prenatal benefit, and so on, just like most of our investment link policies. But just by adding a prenatal benefit makes the child's policy so unique as it allows you to get the coverage as early as possible for your child even during pregnancy. So how does it exactly work? Just like many insurance, the purpose we get insurance is to reduce the risk of financial loss. Therefore, this same goes to this prenatal coverage, but the protection it provides focus more on the baby's health risk during pregnancy and then continuing the protection even after the baby is born. So this benefit is to help cover these complications that may arise during pregnancy and after. There are many coverage details under the prenatal benefit which you can look it up. But one of the coverage would be pregnancy complications where most would cover complications such as eclampsia, abruptual placenta and so on etc. Another coverage that most insurance would have is the hospitalization coverage for congenital conditions that baby may be born with. For example, of congenital conditions are congenital heart disease, Down syndrome, cleft lip, and so on and so forth. So research have found that congenital heart disease among newborns are more commonly found compared to Down syndrome. One out of every 125 babies out there are diagnosed with congenital heart disease. With our advanced medical tech nowadays, some of these congenital conditions can be treatable but it can be very costly as some babies may need either a big surgery or a long-term treatment to recover. For example, medical treatment for the heart would actually cost from a few thousand to a few hundred thousand. But if let's say your finances are tight, it may cause a delay for a baby's treatment and also your baby's chance of survival. There are many more coverage included under the prenatal benefit, which we will not go into detail in this video, but you can always look it up at the respective insurance company's website. So there are differences from buying before labor and after labor because not all babies are born healthy. There are babies who are born with minor complications such as jaundice or premature, prematurity complications and some with more serious complications such as heart defect, Down syndrome, cleft lip and so on. When a baby is born with health complications, getting insurance coverage will be difficult with higher chances of rejection and exclusion. That's why it is important to get it as early as you can and secure the coverage for them as soon as possible. If you have the intention to get the insurance coverage for your child, then don't wait as you may not be able to apply for them anymore. This prenatal plan, like any other insurance plan, is meant to cover financial losses that is caused by unfortunate events such as illnesses or accident. So the cost of labor and also the usual pregnancy checkup are not covered by the insurance policy. However, you should still refer to the terms and conditions of your policy for all the benefit details. A child's policy is usually until age 100. It will provide protection during their childhood years and also throughout their adulthood. As we've mentioned previously, that when a child has an illness, it will be difficult to get insurance coverage in the future. So you would want a policy that can provide long-term continuous coverage so that your child does not need to worry that its insurance coverage will one day expire. If you are a mother or a father who is expecting, when it comes to family finance, we highly encourage that every member in your family is insured. Because no matter when whoever is ill, it will still create a huge financial debt to the family. 
A prenatal child plan generally costs about 150 to 250 a month. So do consult with your local insurance agent on what is the best plan for you. You will need to prepare a gynae report from your regular doctor and submit together with your insurance application. The underwriter will then review your application and report. The approval will be based on your health of your pregnancy. If there's any findings on pregnancy health risk, the application may be rejected. So if you like to avoid that risk, so do apply earlier as early as possible. If you have twins or triplets during your pregnancy, you will have to submit an application for each child. For example, if you have twins, you have to submit two applications and if you have triplets, you have to submit three applications and you have more than more. So the more infant you have during pregnancy, the higher your pregnancy risk is. Therefore, the, um, the application will be subjected to underwriting. Same goes if you're having an IVF pregnancy, you can still apply, but it will be subjected to underwriting as well. Let us know what are your thoughts on prenatal insurance. If you do have any questions, do leave us a comment down below. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe us down below. See you next time. Bye! Bye.